Hey guys, so this is like the fifth time I try to make this video. My phone keeps like doing all these weird things, but I wanted to get on here just quickly and answer something that I keep getting asked. And if you guys only follow me here, oh, quick, another thing I wanted to mention is the reason why I'm not posting a recipe video today is because initially I did create a recipe video, but that video didn't turn out as good as I wanted it to be. And I'm trying to up the quality here. I'm trying, you guys. I'm a one woman show. And I'm just trying to make it happen. So, uh, so yeah, it didn't work out as good as I wanted it to, so I decided to scrap it before I even edit it. Moving on, uh, I wanted to talk about this question that I keep getting. In the, past, in the past month or so, I've gotten this question so many times, and at first I'm like, why are people asking this? And then slowly it caught on to me, and I'm like, oh, I see why people are asking. So, uh, if you just follow me on YouTube and not on Instagram, shameless plug, at Veggie Rose, check it out. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you're probably thinking, why do people, why would people even think that Rose is going raw vegan when she posts a lot of cooked foods and decadent, comfort, rich food that a lot of times deep fried. <laughs> so why would someone think she's going raw vegan? And to answer that question is, if you don't follow me on Instagram, is on my Instagram stories, I tend to post a lot of what I eat on my Instagram stories and I think that is what's getting a lot of people into that question like what's going on Rose are you going raw vegan because you're not posting you know the usual foods that you used to eat before and uh, the reality of it is I have been eating a lot more raw foods like a lot more raw foods and uh, and uh, basically uh, in the mornings, I've been eating, or I've been really trying to get this smoothie thing down. In the past week or so, I've, or two weeks, I want to say, I've been trying to really get back into smoothies. And <laughs> and for the most part, by what I mean by that is making my own because I would uh, just go out and buy a smoothie because I'm not good at making smoothies. But I've, I've gotten better, I've gotten better. But anyways... That, and then at lunchtime, I would have a salad, most of the time a raw salad. And then that's another thing that would prompt people to asking, are you going raw vegan from this time to that time? Uh, are, you, are you considering going raw vegan? And, uh, and, yeah, and have you gone raw vegan from, like, you know, whatever, till 4 or till 6 or till 5 or whatever it is called? And to answer that uh, is basically I have been eating a lot more raw food uh, for breakfast in smoothies and for snacks uh, which I normally would anyways and then also for lunch uh, sometimes I'll have cooked food for lunch and then raw food for dinner um, sometimes I'll have like a raw-ish salad where I'll have a salad and then I'll add some like beans in there or like some roasted potatoes to make it a little heartier or whatever it is like that um, so I totally understand why people keep asking the question because it kind of does seem that way if you, uh, just see like what I post on Instagram stories, uh, which is another reason why I've started making more what I eat in a day videos because I want you guys to see what I have been eating. So, uh, or I say a lot, I'm actually posting another one tomorrow and it's going to be a vlog style. We go on a hike and you're going to see what I eat during that day and then a day and a half. <laughs> so, yeah, so to answer the question, am I going raw vegan? The real question is, the real answer is no. I'm not going raw vegan because I'm working on, uh, well, at the moment, I'm working on a holiday slash cookbook. Uh, recipe cookbook for you guys and which is why I wasn't able to make a new video cook uh, recipe video for today uh, also um, that's another reason wh why I've been eating so much raw food is because I just haven't had the time to make a breakfast for myself or a lunch for myself and I'll just like whip up something raw quick because it's just quick and it's filling not to mention the reason why I've actually been considering uh, doing like raw to a certain time or even just uh, doing a challenge like a one week raw challenge to see how I feel is because since I've been eating more raw foods I just feel so much better I just feel so much better you guys let me know if you guys have tried like doing a raw challenge or something like that how have you felt um, would you ever consider doing a raw vegan challenge or even going raw vegan and if you 
oh yeah, I think I said that already, right? If you eat raw foods, how do you feel? Um, so, so yeah, in short, I'm not going completely raw vegan. If I were to ever do something like that, it'd be more of a, uh, you know, morning breakfast, uh, and then possibly lunch or vice versa. Like I wouldn't do all day raw vegan. I love cooking. As you guys know, I love making food for you guys and for my family and I just love it. So I wouldn't give it up completely, at least not at the moment, not that I can think of. And, uh, yeah, so that, I hope that answers a lot of you guys' question. And if you guys are thinking, what are they talking about? Go check out my Instagram, you guys. Why are you missing out? And we communicate a lot there, too. DM me, whatever. So I will talk to you guys very soon. Thank you guys for everyone who are, who's watching. And thank you guys for asking the question that rang this video about. And I love you guys all. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye.